Hey, hey everyone, I'm Fiction House back again with another cool Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, in this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to make um, a cool geometry for your text so you can use a cloth and make a, like a kind of explosion or animation for your text. And uh, I think it's a really cool uh, thing that you could use for your images and uh, your animations on your channel. And uh, this has um, a really cool uh, geometry, as I say, and um, also a really cool detail. And uh, it doesn't uh, take a lot of your RAM for your machine uh, to work this out, so um, I think it's a really cool tutorial that you should uh, follow up. So uh, grab your Cinema 4D and uh, let's go to this. Okay people, so uh, we're ready to start our tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to add is a text plan. And on this text plan, I'm going to use the font uh, intro. Yeah, I think it's a cool font for you to use. Uh, for this tutorial for the uh, the kind of geometry that we're going to need uh, but I think also that you can use this on every font uh, once that you use the, the spline text so um, that's how we have this I'm going to write this on uh, motion just to have a similar thing that we did on the, that small intro for this tutorial I'm just going to push this a little bit on front just so we can see this a little bit better it's okay so I'm going to add an extrude and make the text a child of the extrude. So um, now what I'm going to do is just uh, here on the display I'm going to put this to the garage shading lines so when we start to editing, uh, editing uh, our polygons and uh, our our geometry on this uh, we, we can see how this is working. So uh, on the text I'm going to over here I'm going to put this to a subdivider and here on the extrude, I'm going to bump up a little bit to 10 the, the subdivision for, for the text. So uh, also here on the extrude, I'm going to put this to around 80 so we can have a little bit of depth. Then we can start playing the, a lot with this now. So uh, we have our side for geometry, so we also need the uh, half front geometry so, so the text uh, work correctly. So, uh, going here on the caps and I'm going to put this to type to quadrangles and here on the quadrangles I'm going to put this on regular uh, regular grid. I'm going to set this to 10 uh, for now and I'm going to check out the rest of the geometry is compatible with the, with the front so I'm going to decrease just this a little bit to around 6 and also uh, on the text, I'm going to put the maximum length to around to around four. It should be okay. All right. So I uh, also here on the object, I'm going to put the subdivisions to around 13, 14 should be cool, and we have our text fully ready to start uh, playing with this uh, with uh, the attractor and the and the cloth. So um, once we have this, I'm going to, if you want to just control C, control V to copy this and just leave one. If something bad happens, you can have also uh, a text already prepared for what you're going to do. So I'm going to edit this, I'm going to press C, I'm going to select this object and delete. Okay, so um, we have our text. Uh, now we need to um, to connect all our text so when this shatter uh, will have a, a cooler uh, shatter so a, a cooler area yeah. okay we're going to our point mode we're going to select all and then we're going to mesh command and optimize so this way we have our text fully binded and fully um, with a cool geometry and uh, and is not heavy for for your machine so uh, I think it's a really cool way to add uh, geometry on text and uh, make a lot of stuff on this. So uh, uh, once that we have this, I'm going to go over here to make this all right, and then I'm going to add a cloth surface and put the extrude child of the cloth surface. You can have uh, you can make this with all all Cinema for the versions because because um, I think we, we, we don't need plugins and nothing so uh, this is also very cool so uh, once we have this class surface I'm going to take out the, uh, the subdivisions and put the techniques to one so we can have a little bit of uh, 
got the buffer over here, as you see. And um, I'm going to add the cloth tag to the to the extrude. So we're going to cloth, okay. And we need this to tear. And uh, we're going to take the gravity out for now. Take it to zero. And this should be cool for us to start. Okay, so um, now we need something to some force to, to take this uh, this cloth to tear. So um, I already have a tutorial on a flag, but I wanted to make uh, this tutorial with a with a text so you can make a, like a cool intro for your channel. So uh, once we have this, we can start putting to simulate, go to particles, attractor. And on this attractor, I'm going to put this to minus minus 700. Okay, minus minus 700 for start should be cool. I'm going to put this the mode force and the fall off. I'm going to put this to a sphere. So so we have this all right. We can push our our attractor a little bit behind and take off this fall off. And uh, what we need to do over here now is just to connect this attractor to the cloth. So we're going to the expert and just drag this down to the to the to the cloth uh, expert. So uh, now, once you play, you see that nothing happens because um, the attractor is not uh, is not uh, breaking the forces on it. So uh, if you press play now and you bring your attractor and move it around here, you see that you already have like a cool tear on the text and uh, uh, now you can play a lot on this so uh, what I did on the on that animation was uh, just set up two keyframes uh, one over here on the start so right just my set a keyframe just push to to around 30 30 to 40 and you can bring this around here and make another keyframe and we want to working with cloth uh, to have this uh, working uh, really faster, so we can calculate this, and uh, just um, and then when the animation runs, uh, it's already uh, the computer is not generating uh, any any data, so uh, it's less heavier. So uh, to bring this, we already have a cool animation on the cloth, and um, and uh, now you can uh, play a lot on this. You can you can also bring your animation just a little bit lower, set a keyframe over here, bring this guy a little bit down, and set and just play it. And you have um you have the attractor like uh, connecting and um, breaking the forces on the on the cloth. So um, I think it's a really cool tutorial uh, to show here at uh, Fix Channel House. And um, also if you want to to make uh, uh, how can I say? If you want to to the cloth to add um, to add some collisions with the floor, just bring up plane over here. Just push it over here. Going to put a little bit down and just uh, just add a cloth collider. So put the friction to around 32. And if you press play, have your animation. But um, since the gravity is not on. Uh, the text won't fall down. So, uh, what I did also on the animation, I, I set a keyframe over here on the cloth for the for the gravity force. So, when it's I'm going to push this over to 120, 150. So right, and uh, I'm going to calculate this cloth again. So I'm going to cloth. I'm going to calculate cash. The this should calculate in a in a bit. So um, and then also we have like a, a ton of geometry on the text and the and the computer works uh, very fine. So I think we, you can do this uh, even uh, with, with a normal paint use. And that's why I wanted to, to push uh, this tutorial for you guys. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to make a tutorial on illumination on this because you already know. Uh, how I do illumination? We have a lot of tutorials on illumination, but uh, with grayscale, we're a lot of kids, and I'm working on a tutorial 
uh, for you guys to to build the uh, illuminations in uh, from scratch without any plugins, without nothing, and uh, with physical render, and you have a really cool uh, render setup. So I'm going to leave that for another tutorial. And I uh, just wanted to to share uh, this idea with you guys and uh, this technique for you guys to make a cool intro for your channel, make some cool graphics, and um, and this is it. So let's just wait a bit for this uh, cloth pattern to cache. And we, we're going to see how the animation is running, so um, I think it's a really cool thing uh, to learn uh, here on Cinema for this. So I hope you, you guys like test a lot, and also uh, when you render this you can make a lot of tests on renders, because um, if you don't use uh, global illumination and, and all the render kits, you can do a lot of renders uh, like in, in seconds. Uh, I made the renders for that animation like on 16 seconds of frame, so... Um, very cool. So uh, uh, once we have this, I have my animation all back, and then what I'm going to do here, is like when the when this guy when this cloth like turns around over here, I'm going to set a keyframe on gravity. So I'm going to make a keyframe like over here on zero. Push this a little bit backwards, and go over here and put this to around. Minus two to two point five. Yeah, minus two point five should be cool. So um, probably the the gravity won't work because we have a, a baked cache uh, cloth, and uh, we still need to bake this again. And um, for you to see uh, how this is working, so I'm going to calculate cache again, and uh, it's going to also take a little bit, like the first time. Um, this and this like that. Uh, uh, you have to make a lot of text to make um, cool things on Cinema 4D. Now I've been trying to work a lot and to trying to make new things uh, and bring you uh, cool things for you guys to, to learn. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I really hope you keep uh, following FX Channel House. And um, uh, let's uh, keep ready for another tutorial or another client project because we're going to release it very soon. We have a lot of projects, uh, a lot of delay projects from clients that we need to release. And um, after this, I'm going to work a lot uh, because I need to release a lot of stuff. And I'll just wrap it up another tutorial for you guys for Cinema for the for you guys to grab some cool things uh, here at FX Channel House. So uh, let's just wait a little bit again for this cloth out of cash and uh, let's see uh, how the gravity pulls uh, how the, um, the gravity pulls the text down uh, after uh, it explodes or shatter or tear and uh, let's see this technique it's almost and we're done so let's hit a play on this we have the cloth shattering and then it comes down like a, a little bit after so um, just uh, make your things make your renders uh, make your studios uh, and your animation just uh, paste it down below and, uh, I will see you on a uh, I will check it out on your links and uh, I'll leave a comment there so um, hope you guys keep following FX on house I will see you on a really cool tutorial or another intro or another template uh, very soon guys so uh, have a great one and uh, cheers